Hi everyone. Today I would like to show you how you can download and install PostgreSQL version 16 and PG Admin on your Windows 11 computer. Okay. So what you want to do first is go on Google and search for download PostgreSQL. You can see right here PostgreSQL and then the first link it gives you here, this should be downloads, then click that. When you click that, since you are going to be using Windows, then you come right here, click Windows. Okay. Now, you can see right here in this table right here that PostgreSQL version is this column right here and the Windows platforms, 64-bit Windows platform and 32-bit. So version 16 is the latest version and that is what we are going to be installing, okay? However, if your computer is a 32-bit, then you will have to install version 10, okay? But in this video, I'm showing you how you want to install on Windows 11, which is going to be a 64-bit Windows platform. So we are going to go with Postgres 16, okay? So what you want to do is come right here to download the installer, click this. So I've clicked that. Now that I've clicked that, you can see that these are the different versions. And this is the version we need, 16.1. And you can see the different platforms right here. In this video, we want to look at Windows 11. And basically this is Windows 64 bits. So we are gonna be downloading and installing this on Windows 11, okay? So this is 32 bits. This is not supported for version 16.1.1. So we want this one right here. So I will click on this right here to download. I have clicked that and that is downloading. As you can see, it's downloading right here. It's going to take a few seconds to download. Then after I finish downloading, we'll come back and install. Okay. So now you guys can see that this has finished downloading. So I will go to the folder I downloaded and that's my downloads folder. I will go there right now. So you can see that this is the one I just downloaded. Okay. So I will double click this so I can install it. So now that I've double clicked that is asking me if I, it says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? You probably are not seeing my screen right now. But uh, it, it, pops, it popped out something for me to click yes or no. So I'm going to click yes. So you should also go ahead and click yes. Okay. So I've clicked yes. Now you can see my screen now. So now it's about to start the installation process. Okay. So let's give it for, for okay. Okay. Now it wants to start installing. Then I'll click next. So now he's asking me for the path. So I'll just leave this path right here, Postgres 16. I click next. And then he's asking me to select the component I would like to install. So I will just leave everything right there. I'll leave everything checked. You can see you have PostgreSQL server. That is what we are installing and PG admin. Okay. So we also have stack builder and command line tools. So just leave everything that way. Okay, and then click next. And then click next. And then right here, you need to create a password because you as the super user of the database that you are in that you are installing right now, this PostgreSQL server, you need to have a password. So make sure you note your password. Okay. Make sure you note your password. So you ask me to retype. Make sure you note your password because we are going to be also be using this password by the time in the next video when we are going to be when we are going to be loading and uh, restoring the DVD renter database in our Postgre 16 using PG admin. Okay, so now we'll say next. I've written my password, and then this port. Leave this port like that. Fifty four thirty two. I will say next. I will say next. And then I will say next. And then it says setup is now ready to begin installing PostgreSQL on your computer. 
I'll say next. So now this is going to go ahead to install PostgreSQL Server and PG Admin on my computer. I'm not going to stop this video. I'm going to make sure that we all see what the installation process is like so that if we have any error, we can take a look and then we can debug the errors. Okay. So let's just continue to wait until this is fully installed. It's not going to take so much time. Okay. So it's going to be installing PostgreSQL Server and PG Admin and the stack builder and command line tools but for the series of videos we are going to be uh that we are going to be exploring basically the series of sql we are going to be exploring we are going to be using um we are going to be using pg admin okay so let this finish installing almost done So now uncheck this and then click finish. So now this is done. All right, guys, now that we have installed PostgreSQL Server and PG Admin, let us go to our Windows search bar and click and type PG Admin. In my case, I have not even searched, but I already can see PG Admin right here. In your case, if you don't see that, just search for PG Admin. And then right here, you can see it. Then you can click that. Okay, it's going to take a few seconds to open. Let's wait for that. Let's wait for that. Very good. Now we can see that our PG admin is open right there. Okay, so now if you come to servers, if you click this, you can see PostgreSQL 16 right here. Okay, that is what we just installed. You can also see PostgreSQL 15, and that is because I had installed PostgreSQL 15 previously on this computer, okay? That's why you see that right there, but this is what we just installed. Also note that we are installing PostgreSQL 16 on a Windows 11 computer. That is what I am showing you right here, okay? Of course, you can also install PostgreSQL SQL 16 on other Windows computer, okay? But I'm just telling you that I'm using Windows 11 right here, okay? Guys, if you are finding this video valuable, please go ahead and like this video and also subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our videos, okay? All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.